So you guys really seem to enjoy the last video of this game and the fun venture of catching so many weird fish. Like there probably is in this spot here. If we just bring up the reel a little bit at a time and we catch a, <laughs> a lumpy mackerel like this. There's also one more spot over here that I want to get to before it turns dark and it goes away. Here we go. Ooh, some cod. I wonder what the messed up cod look like. Uh, never mind. It's depleted. We'll find that a different day. But for now, we'll sell the weird one that we got for $37. Raising our total to 83 for just a small catch. Not too bad. And I think since we're here, we'll buy another crab pot. And now that it's a brand new day, I think it's time that our little boat got an upgrade or two. Which means going out to these little spots of junk floating in the water. And it looks like there might be some fancy things in the water this time. We have a gold ring. We can't use it to upgrade though. I also want to drop one of the crab pots in this area right here in the deepest parts of the water and i bet we can find some fun things dropping it next to these bones right here i'll try it and then we can use our speed to dash over to an area over here so that we can get some big swordfish here that sell for a lot one of them like this very nice i think it fits best like that and then one more and this one's a bit more difficult to get in here properly so we might only have to get one of them as well that's too bad but that's why we're getting upgrades and speaking of upgrades, I should probably see what we need in order to get those upgrades. Whoa, I might have driven too close to the shallows or my boat overheated from the dashing. One of the two, but we can go again. Oh man, we're so much slower because the engine got damaged. Wait, did I just see a thingy? Oh, there's a red thingy over there. We need those to get more special powers. Uh... Or it's a... Uh, what is that? That little shrine thing? Hi there. Hi there. Oh, there's a shape on there. A slab of rock just from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. Curved fish. Uh, that probably wants a cod. We'll have to check that out later. But for right now, let's swim through the channel here so we can get back to shore. Hey, and we finished reading the book of correct engine operation. And just provide 5% more movement speed. Excellent. Continue another book. Uh, oh gosh, there's oh no, there's eyes showing up everywhere. I don't think I like that very much. Oh, but there's also a cool spot over here that's gonna have some funky fish. I want the funky fish. Oh, it's gonna be squid. I would like to see a funky squid. Oh, never mind. Snag squid. Ugh, it's nasty looking. Tasty tongues writhe wildly. Yeah, I think I'm done reading that. <laughs> Gross. Oh gosh, and there's ghost rocks showing up. Got to avoid those. Don't worry, buddy. We'll just get you back to shore and everything will be okay. Because you can make a lot of money on that weird squid. $181 to be exact for the entire cargo haul. And I'll put the gold ring in storage. And then let's see what I need for the upgrades. So we're gonna need some wood, screws, and cloth to get these upgrades. And I think having more room for the rods is gonna be really helpful here. So let's see, we do have some wood in storage. We can put that in really quick and then one bolt of cloth. So now we just need metal scraps and that'll be the first upgrade. I think we should be able to do that pretty well. So now let's get some cod for that uh, shrine that we saw. Here's a spot. Ooh, and there's a trophy right here. Aha, three feet, eight inches. That's gotta be a really big cod then. I like it. So we'll get as many of these as we can. That spot's depleted. I think this spot will have more cod. Yeah, this spot has more. So we'll get some of these. I'm not sure if we need to just put one of these in the shrine or fill it up, but I'm gonna to fish out the spot dry in case we need to fill it. And there, that spot is depleted. Now, this spot is in the shallows. I don't know if I can get to it. Yeah, I can't. Uh, let's go to the shrine for now and then use our boost to get there. Whee! Making sure it doesn't overheat. It's really tempting to just stop by and catch a shark, but I gotta keep focused. And, uh, whatever these are. Oh, these are the metal scraps I need. I think I can rearrange this in order to fit that in. I'm gonna try it. Pretty easy dredge. Okay, so yep, takes up four spaces, which needs to go so, uh, here and then, okay, gotta do a bit of rearranging. Okay, you know what? I know where the spot is. I'll just leave that there and then try to figure out the shrine. So it wants curved fish. We'll put one of you in here like this. Okay, I'm thinking we do need to fill it up. I hope we have enough. Oh, we also have to be smart about how we arrange this too, it looks like. But that should do it like this. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something lodged against the rock. Ooh, it gave me a thingy. Sinew spindle. Ugh. But this also gives me fishing in the shallow water too. I like it. And I can install it somewhere. So this basic fishing pole I have gives me coastal, but this one gives me coastal and shallow. We're going to lose a lot of fishing speed, but I think having the other spots available to us is going to be really beneficial. So we actually could put this in storage right now. We are working to upgrade the 
real spots. So I think that's worth it. I'll hold on to you. Thank you, weird fish shrine. I wonder how many more of those there are. But now I have enough space in my boat to get those metal scraps. So we'll stop by here again. And oh, it was a research part. I'm okay with that. I would really like the metal scraps though. There they are. Just as it's getting to be nighttime. Let's turn on a light. And wow, those rocks really disappear in the fog. But now we're safely back at shore and we can plug in the metal scraps into here to get better rod spots. Yes, upgrade. Hey, we did it. Just install that over the next two hours. Very nice. And then we have to make sure to sell the rest of these fish. And let's use that research part. We could research larger traps. Oh, you know what? I need, I probably need this one in order to get that giant crab for the order. So I'm going to do that. Now that's for sale. So we can pick one of these up and then use it tomorrow. Ooh, I see some more weird fish signs over here. Looks like a mackerel spot. And, ooh, a trophy. 10 inch mackerel. Very nice. But I want to see the weird one. Oh, there it is. A many eyed mackerel. Nasty looking. But now we're done there. And I think we can check one of the crab pots here. Hey, the book got read. Oh, there's a big crab I needed. A fiddler crab. Excellent. He's got a big profile, but we can get him in nice and snug there. And sadly, I have absolutely no room for catching one of those sharks. And oh, you're kidding me. There's a weird shark in the water over here. Uh, okay, you know what? I don't care about these basic mackerels. I want to see what this is. All right, sharks. Show me your worst. <laughs> a blood skin shark. Okay, now to do some massive rearranging here. But that should be all I need to do to get this guy in right here. Very nice. Now I have two weird fish. I don't know if that's a good thing. But you know, that seems like a worthwhile trade. A few mackerels for a weird shark. That's got to sell for a lot of money. Also, how in the world am I supposed to get in there? It's blocked by rocks and everything. So we'll give this guy the crab for that order. Nice and neatly like that. Making $60. And he has one final request for me. Some fish around here can develop deformities. Oh, he wants a grotesque fish. What do you think happens to a person that eats these fish? They probably get really sick. Well, perhaps. Want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Thankfully, I have one of these for you. Any will suffice. Ugh. I bet this bloodskin shark will sell for a lot. So give him the mackerel. And that should do it. Clutches it close to his chest. You're weird, dude. And he gave me $60 for it. Here's what the fish is worth. Why don't you take these? Hey, some research parts. Oh, $100. $167 for the shark and sell the rest of these. Okay, uh, you deal with that. But hey, we can research things. Now, I do have two research parts. I think I need a better engine. I'll get one of those. Okay. And then I can start putting research towards one of these or this. A jet drive engine. What? I think I'll hold on to the, the last research part until I can use it somewhere else. And for now, I will sell this rusty outboard engine so I can get this improved one. So my boat should be going much faster. I wonder if something weird is going to happen to that fishmonger guy now that we gave him the weird fish. Okay, the boat definitely feels faster now. I haven't exactly looked around the other side of this island here, but before I do that, I need to get more parts. So we'll start dredging right here, fitting all these in as best we can until that spot depletes. Oh, another weird fish. This is looking like a cod spot. What do you got for me? Why am I getting all these normie fish? I want a weird one. I'm gonna start throwing stuff back until I get a weird fish. I know exactly what I'm here for. The spot is running dry. Oh, there it is, a three-headed cod. Wow. You know, of the ones that of cod this is probably the most normal looking and that's saying something that's cool i want to have more room in my boat for dredging parts so all these cods are getting thrown back at least they all pack nicely but now we're done there what is there over here Ooh. I think I see a shiny. Yeah, I do. I want that. Give me the good stuff. Shapes in the deep. More jewelry. Not sure what I can do with this. I think there was someone that wanted it. A bronze belt buckle. Now, let's see. Do I want those weird frame looking things or more of those? I'm gonna grab this spot over here. Oh, and it's more shiny stuff. See, it'd be nice if I could sell this, but I'll still take it and then probably do a little bit of reorganizing. Okay, now I should be able to... Oh, never mind. The spot disappeared and it got replaced with whatever these are. Okay, there's more metal here. Good. We'll get just one of you. Unless there's research parts. I'm in the shallows now, so I shouldn't be attacked by any of those big fish. And I was right. There is a research part. Let's get another one. Hopefully it's another one. No, it's a big piece of scrap. I want to see if I can get just one more research part. And no, I cannot. Okay, those go back. But now my guy is super paranoid now. So we're just gonna stick close to the shallows, avoiding ghost rocks along the way. I feel like my boat would collide with those, but I don't want to find out either. Uh, you know, I could just dock in that town there. <gasps> Whoa, you see that? There is another boat. Hi there. Are you friendly? I have no idea if you're friendly. Where are you going? It's going just straight over to that shore there. 
and he fades away. Oh gosh. My guy is tripping out right now. Need to get back to shore very quickly. Okay, but we're in the shallows now, so we're safe. That was weird. Maybe next time one of those show up, I should call out to it. Hi, are you okay? Blinding headache. Oh, so the fish really messed him up. But we'll sell him what we have here. And then the rest of these can go to storage. Now I can put parts into dry dock, like having an extra light space would be good. Upgrade it. Very nice. And I can also buy a bigger light, which has like double the lumens of my basic one. Yep, sell that. Gonna buy this and install it. And that gets me right to the sunshine. How about I just rest? Oh, it's resting all the way through this next day. That's not what I wanted. I mean, I could wake up early, but it's whatever. Also, I just remembered that one lady, yeah, wanted lumber and scrap. And I need to bring them to Steel Point an island to the north. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And I'm guessing that's the island right over there. I do see a dock. Okay, so there's a dock that we're supposed to be going next to. And there's a lot of stuff over here. Why haven't I started coming over here to dredge for things? Why does the lady need me to dredge for anything at all? She has everything she needs right here. So there's the two scraps of lumber that we need. The metal scraps should be right here. So that's one can go in right there. And I have enough space for the other one. Or I could also get some research parts. Uh, nope, not this one. And it looks like there were no more research parts. That's okay. It's nighttime now. I'm just gonna drop these off with the lady at the shore. Dock on steel point right here. Yep. Material pile. This is the island where the builder wants materials. Well, you can have some of this and some of this. There we go. Delivered all the necessary materials. Should let the builder know. Alrighty. I can rest here too. There's not too much incentive for me to be out at night. Unless there's some weird abnormal fish for me to get. And before I forget, how deep does the ocean get over here? Okay, there's few crabs here. I want to see a spot with plenty. Ideally going extremely deep. Or maybe it depends on depth. Okay, there's plenty of crabs here. So I'll drop that large crab pot here. And then I'll just fish the shark here since I'm coming into shore anyway. And that's really all I have room for. But now I'm trying to remember, was it the guy over here that bought the jewelry and whatnot? Yeah, the trader. Hello, is that... Oh no, we haven't met. Purchase any special trinkets. Yeah. We'll move these things into cargo. So then all of these things should sell for... I got about $100 out of that. Very nice. Oh, there's someone here that wants to talk too. Hi there. Someone's lost at sea. Right. Tell me about the treasure. If you're able to retrieve one of his belongings from the wreck, then you feel more of at peace. Okay. Oh. 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 Um. I, uh... I better go. You think I could buy that back? Oh wait, there it is. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought for sure I sold it. I was really worried that I messed that up there. So hi, I feel better about talking to you now. Uh, about that belt buckle. Yes, give it to him. Yes, it is his. Return him to me, take this. Ooh, he gave me a research part. Oh good, I'm glad I didn't get rid of that. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, any strange occurrences? Don't know a lot anymore. Okay, well we still have half a day ahead of us. Ooh, another weird stingray, I gotta see this. Just need to hit all the points, there we go. That's a normal one, throw you back. There's a shard ray again. But I also can't exactly fit this in here normally with the sharks. Also I love the way its little nose jiggles when I wave it around, it's like redo, 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 redo. But also I do need to get this thing back to the fishmonger so I can sell it, so we'll see sell all of you $244 and we can also talk to the builder let her know that the things were delivered let's get moving oh <laughs> we can just take the lady and put her in storage like this as a passenger you know what we should have enough time to get there especially if I put in an overdrive now it's just a straight shot to steel point and I also should probably check on that fish basket or the crab basket that's a boat over there and it's not even nighttime that's a legitimate boat over there I need to see what's going on there right after I drop this lady off she takes up way too much space Yes, this will do. Thank you. No problem. Pursuit resolved. Very cool. So now I have five research parts. Okay, definitely gonna research the fishing pole. An anti-tangle like mangrove? I can fish in mangroves? Or volcanic? What? Or I get a better engine. So I'll research that. That'll be available for us. Very cool. I was totally right. There is a boat over here. Boat alongside the boat at anchor. Signs of life. No one appears to agree. Call out. Small slot in the door snaps open. Delivering this package to Little Marrow been being stocked. A leviathan? Was that what attacked me before? It hung in the water, escaping mouth just below the boat. Would have swallowed this hole if I haven't bolted for the shadows. Okay, I'll deliver the package. This is a large package too. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Gross. So there's definitely a weird fish in there. And there's some vast seas over here. 
And I can see some islands off in the distance. I bet there's going to be a lot of secrets around those ones. But I also really do not like how deep the water is here, especially when there's spooky things that'll just bite my boat. It should be okay in the daytime, though. Just going to drop off this package at the dock worker like that boat wanted me to. And hello, dock worker. I have a thing for you. Takes it and listens. He didn't pay me at all, jerk. But really nothing else. Time to go back. A pretty small haul today, 54 monies. We'll repair these crab pots and I guess put them in storage. Not too big on the crab pot business. And I was a big flexible fishing pole right there that has a lot better fishing speed than this one. So let's trade it out. Very nice. And if I sell both of my engines, I can buy that new one. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't need to keep you, do I? I certainly hope not. And then I'll buy this one, install you. Four hour installation time, gross. And now I can put the wood towards this upgrade, which I can't afford anymore because I bought the engine. So this day is going to be spent making money as well as finding the rest of the materials. And look at how much faster my boat is. This is amazing. Gonna collect two of the pieces that I need right here. A low supply of sharks, but just one of these is gonna be enough to buy one of the upgrades. And now the fishmonger can get all our things, $120. So now we have enough to buy more engine space. Very nice. I'm seeing a lot of fishing spots now. Now, none of them with the weird sparkles. Oh, and I see sparkles right in the midst of those rocks. Perfect. I want to see a weird eel. Okay, that's normal. I want the weird one. Oh, there it is. A barbed eel. Man, this thing's got like sharp things all over it. And then I did see this back here. That's a person. Uh, hooded figure, swathed in dark robes. Fisherman, please help. Uh, barely hear their rasping whisper. Fulfill the hunger? Uh, they point to... Oh, I don't have a mackerel. Darn. Hold on. Uh... Please just stay here. I'll get one of those for you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to get you a fish real soon. Have some of this in your life. Expert precision. They plunge their hands through the gullet. Oh, they just took out the heart. More. Still empty. A tiger mackerel. I don't have one of those. You're on your own for that, buddy. And I'm also kind of on my own. I need to get back to the shore. Thankfully, it's a straight shot this way even though the sun is going down. Okay, you give me some repairs, thank you much. And then you take the fish, and then we buy this upgrade. Purchase it. Yes, more net spaces. I don't even know what to do with that. And this is, wow, this is a lot of stuff we need for this big upgrade here. Thankfully, we can fill some of it in. And I don't even know where to get refined metal. Although, looking at the map, there is this X down in Gale Cliffs. So there might be something down there. We'll just head out immediately with our nicely repaired engine and head southeast. Just gonna be line for it. Way down there it seems like. Oh look, there's the dolphins again. Ah, they're sailing with me. That's awesome. I also see it looks like a steamboat. Just like a weird little raft. Hi, uh, traveling merchant. Cool. If you have any fish to sell, take them. Nice. This person has all the things. This is awesome. There it is. There's a refined metal. Oh my gosh, you needed a lot. So I need to make a thousand dollars in order to pay for everything. Thankfully, I do see a swordfish right here that can sell for a hundred. I'll just need a lot more than this. I can get a swordfish out here here. Ooh, a spot for weird squids just opened up. Sadly, though, I'm not finding the weird squid all that fast. There it is. So there's another $200 right there. Ooh, weird spot for macros opened up right here. There it is, another lumpy one. I'm pretty much just going to be making my rounds to all the weird spots because those will give me the fish that cost the most. So here's a shark, another blood skin one. There it is, another big eyed one. And that haul, oh, $900. We're almost there. First, I have to make my way back over to that merchant. And I'm seeing some red fish right here. What do you have? Oh, disturbed water, abyssal. I don't have that sort of a Equipment. So I can sell you the fish on the side of the pontoon. I'll buy any fish. Uh-huh. And that gives me just enough money. So I'll buy the refined metal from you. We can make the same upgrades to your boat at this dock. Yes. And then see right there. Just uh, got to get some of those really quick. And now I can finally get that next big upgrade for the boat. Make it tier two. Just got to plug in the last piece of metal here and then purchase the upgrade. Nice, tier two haul. And I'm pretty sure our boat is looking a little bit better too. I like it. And we have so much more storage for the fish. This is amazing. <laughs> and the lights got oriented a weird way. This will help us a lot in the future. So I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We should be able to get a lot more big and weird fish now that we have a better boat. So thank you guys very much for watching this video and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.